We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, hey everyone, welcome to day 11 of the Phantom Manus. We're looking at Star Wars Episode 1, the Visual Dictionary, and I also have the expanded Visual Dictionary on the right. We thought we'd take a quick look. Um, we won't go into too much detail, just because I want to share these books. This is... Um, you know, written by David West Reynolds, you know, very much of the vein of the early 2000s. The original trilogy version of this book was uh, was a, a, a very much a Bible for me for a very long time. And then this one came along, and it was just opened up a whole new world of all the extra information and detail and, you know, just... Oh, there's such, just such good books. Really, really cool. Like, I still refer to these every so often. You know, it's, it's, you know, not the same, you know, just looking on Wikipedia or something like that. It's it's nice to pick up and look at a book and and just pick through little bits and pieces, you know. It's just little bits of information in here that, you know, just random pod race mechanics. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. Send it to, send it to Palpatine. One free tar. Some other senators. Yeah, just really, really cool stuff in here. I, I love these books. Still do. I wish they were as um, frequent as they, they as the series are now. I'd love to see like you know Mandalorian books and you know even from the whole era do do a book on like. The Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and then do... Well, I guess they've recently done a Dark Times one based on, I think it was Andor and Obi-Wan Kenobi and some Rogue One stuff as well. So they are doing stuff. It's just not... I don't know. It doesn't feel the same. But yeah, this one's got a little bit more in it, a little bit more detail. And, you know, this is from probably around... I think, when did this one come out? This was sort of... 2012 so yeah this was around the 3d release that this one came out so it was very much you know a, an expansion of what we already had but you know given a little bit of extra hype with the 3d movie release obviously yoda had been digitized at that point probably the way the uh the book is laid out is a little bit little bit nicer as well So yeah, still a lot of the same information, probably just a little bit cleaner. I think that even the font and text and stuff's a little bit bolder, a little bit nicer. So there's little PK droids. I need to remember to get a photo of that afterwards. We're just watching Phantom Menace. In the cinema again, and and uh, yeah, I was there. With a work colleague who pointed them out. And I just never really noticed them too much, you know. These days, you watch Star Wars at home, and you don't really pay hundred percent of inf in, in, you don't pay hundred percent of attention. That's what I'm trying to say. So you do tend to pick out a little bit more when you're in a cinema setting and you're you know you're 100 percent focused where you put it on at home you're sort of half watching it half scrolling on your phone which you know it's not ideal but it is what it is hey there's aura sing bib fortuna it doesn't really look like bib fortuna in that picture does it that's that's definitely not uh i don't think that's matt wood in that costume there there's a gadol of the heart up the top there. Sand people. Yopi. So again, there's the senators. Just really cool books. So there we have the visual dictionaries. 
go and check them out if you haven't if you haven't got them in your collection. Should be too hard to find out there on the uh, on the eBay's and stuff like that. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for day twelve. May the force be with you always. Thank <laughs> you.